What's up everybody? Uh, one of the biggest criticisms I get is that the videos I make are for like the super engaged, super end game players. Uh, a lot of other people can kind of read between the lines and they see what I'm going for and they can kind of adapt their roster to mimic part of it, but obviously not copy it completely. In this video, we're gonna try and bridge that gap a little bit. So I got access to a very, very small account, a very, very small account. And in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna explore what you need, the minimum investment, to unlock Black Cat. So this video is gonna primarily talk about the Nowhere team. We're gonna talk about the four MVPs for, for the overall tryout, but it's primarily gonna be talking about the Nowhere. We're gonna run through two out of the three Nowhere nodes. We're gonna talk about difficulty, we're gonna talk about packs. I hope this helps you. If it does, let me know in the comment section below. If it doesn't, let me know, and I'll try and help out the best I can, but at the end of the day, we learned about the Nowhere requirement months ago. We didn't learn about the other the other sections until a few weeks ago. Not everyone can be prepared at the same level as everybody else. That's why I always suggest hoard your resources if you're trying to go hard on these events. Anyway, let's get into it right now. So these are gonna be your four megastars for the Black Cat Trial. Morgan Le Fay, Nova, Cosmo, and Val. These, this is like the minimum investment T4s you need to kind of use them to carry their sections and to get you just the unlock. Um, other characters that would very quickly make this list, the second you're pushing to try and get an extra star, you want Doom in there. Doom with Morgan, that's four out of 10 nodes handled, like handled. So you would definitely want that. After that, you're probably looking at having Korg, Infinity War, Thor getting in there because those that first nowhere node is really tough, as we're going to see. But these are these are the mega stars that you'll need for the nodes. You're going to see them in action. We're going to primarily only show the nowhere footage because I think Morgan Le Fay is level 85. She one shots everything on the node. Val, I believe, is level 80. One shots everything on the node. We'll show that. Um, but this just goes to show that investing in the super powerful characters it always pays off. Investing in Kang paid off huge last time. Investing in Quicksilver this time pays off huge. Red Hulk here pays off huge. Doom pays off huge, Dorm pays off huge. These are the characters that you can absolutely use to get a respectable score, but probably not top 50, top 500. That you're gonna need your niche characters, your Omega Red, your Taskmaster, Black Widow, that sort of thing. Uh, okay, so let's get into the footage right now. All right, so let's quickly talk about difficulty and the packs we're gonna equip. We need 450,000 points. Unfortunately, the 550,000 points is kind of out of our grasp. You need to do all 10 nodes on difficulty five to get that done, which means your nowhere team would have to be a lot larger. Instead, we're gonna aim a little bit lower. 450,000 points will get you 70 shards now, and you'll get an additional 30 when the leaderboard is paid out. So difficulty five gets that done. We're not putting serum on, we're not putting agents of nowhere on, we're not putting the second serum on. We will put hired help on, we will not put self-preservation on, we will not put sinister symbiosis on. Uh, oops, and we will put the rest. So snake eyes, ballroom blast, second win, and world war. We need all of these to make our team function, but also these all help us. So let's get in game right now and start tackling some nodes. All right, this, this first node is, is absolutely nothing. You don't need to do worry about prepping any sort of cooldowns, nothing like that. Again, as long as you have Val and Morgan the Face super built, that's gonna carry all the nodes for you pretty much. Uh, and then the nowhere characters, well, we're gonna talk about that. So on this first node, throw whatever characters you have in here that can just bang it out. I'm just gonna throw Eternals in here with Kestrel. Just make sure that you are not using global controllers, mystic villains, or your nowhere characters. That's all you gotta do. Make sure you're not using those, or brawlers too. Make sure you're not using brawlers, you'll waste their abilities, right? You could go in and start prepping some abilities if you want. So this is actually level 85 of Val. Let's throw Val in there, and let's go ahead and throw in uh, Red Hulk. He's way down here somewhere. Sure, let's run Red Hulk. And here we go. Because I threw in Val and Red Hulk, don't use their abilities. You just need to make sure we're not wasting their abilities on Node 1. Node 1 is unrestricted. There is absolutely no reason to use their abilities here. All right, so now that we're in, let's just go ahead and get this done. We'll open up with a basic from Red Hulk, because again, we're not using his abilities. We'll use a basic from Val. We're just kind of getting cooldown points for them, not really doing much. 
And then from here, the Eternals will finish it off. Of course, there is a Nobu, so you have a chance for revives if no revives happen. Second wave drops in, and then Cersei can finish it off. Kestrel never even got a turn. I think you get the, the difficulty of the enemy characters difficulty 5. They're not very big. As soon as you are you have any of your characters, like your tier 14, this is where your huge stat bonus kicks in, and you really start destroying. Notice we did score 50,000 points, so 9 nodes is going to get us 450,000 total which will get us our unlock in seven days. That's the goal. We want to minimize how much nowhere we actually need. Let's go do this nowhere node. This is the hardest node that you're going to have to do, assuming that your, your nowhere team is not very built up. All right, so here we are on the second node. This is going to be nowhere sinister six node. This one's very important. This is the team we're going in with. This is a super undeveloped team. This is a 282,000 power team. Notice right away my cosm is a healer, though I was saying they can with skirmisher. I just don't have the green isos to switch it on this account. Uh, we do have Star-Lord Annihilation and Infinity War Thor coming with us. They're giving Speed Bar to Nova on spawn. They're actually weaker than some of the Sinister Six members I have, but they'll probably not too much weaker in the stat department. My souls are all over the place, not very good on this team, but this is a minimalistic guide, so we're not going to change anything. We just want to make sure we get through the nodes. So as long as we have one Skirmisher, uh, well, rather some sort of vulnerables for our Nova to hit into, then we're going to be fine. First thing you need to do is you need to stun this Morgan, right? Nova stuns Morgan. That's kind of a no-brainer. If you let her do her abilities, you're going to be in a world of hurt. Next, we're going to go ahead and put a slow on the Morgan using the Doc Ock special. He's very useful. He takes hits well if you haven't built up literally at all. He summons. He's got a slow. He's got the buff flip. He's definitely very useful. Then we're going to put the blind out. We do get a thousand extra focus for this attack, so it pretty much lands all the time. That's going to put a blind on Dagger and a blind on Morgan the Fae, which is going to help us out quite a bit. All right, and now soon it's going to be Nova's turn, and Nova's going to ult and just say enough is enough. We'll ult now with Infinity War Thor just because we can. And let's go ahead and finish off here. She's got blind, so she'll miss anyway, so we'll get off the Morgan just to try and kill as many targets as possible. And we do just that. We get her down perfect. Let's just basic on the um, cloak. And now we're kind of in a race to kill Weaver. I really wish my Thor Infinity War was a raider here, because then I'd be more likely to get a crit on this Weaver, but just not the case. Uh, we'll use the basic here. And then just like we did with Weaver, we're going to put a slow on her. We're not going to ult. The ult would have been really nice, but we know we need Nova to do all the damage here. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And now if we look at the speed difference, we'll see Weaver is still pretty far from using her next ability. Uh, Nova's right there. So any sort of extra damage we can do on this Weaver, the better. So let's go ahead and use a little bit more on the Weaver. She does have bleeds. We now have Striker on Nova coming in. And that's that. So we don't have to worry about fighting through those uh, charges. And we should be okay from here. What could happen is we could get focus fired on our Cosmo, and that would be really bad. If Infinity War Thor die and Star Lord Annihilation die, that's fine. We're going to leave it like that. But we do want to make sure Cosmo, Nova, and um, Doc Ock, I guess, make it through. You could you could do or do without Doc Ock, I suppose. He's kind of nice. You might have had him built up for um, just because he was useful in like Dark Dimensions. In the legendary section he was cheap before now with dark dimension six he's actually the one of the most expensive characters which is really lame we'll go ahead and summon this is going to give us some nice heals to work with and we'll take out the spider woman the reason we want to take out spider woman is because she does do heal block and heal block is lame and not very fun All right, let's continue leaning into the Doc Ock slows. Let's go ahead and throw one over on, sure, on Nico. And now that is one of our only sources of vulnerable. We don't need the heal just yet, so we'll just basic here. And this is by far the hardest node in this, uh, this trial, by the way, as long as you're only doing it for the unlock. The second you start pushing, node 8 becomes the hardest, but... For this is fine. So just throw this. Let's take that since she's about to go down. Now Nova has his special available and he's got his ultimate available. I think the second nowhere node is really easy. You don't technically need these abilities available. 
but it'll certainly help. So we are in a super healthy position right now. We can save those cooldowns and still be perfectly fine. So we're going to do just that. If anything, like you're more likely to use the Doc Ock ultimate before you use any kind of Nova abilities, if it happens to be back up. All right, there goes Nico. And yeah, you see, like, we're, we're taking these hits like a champ, and I'm mostly talking about uh, Cosmo and Nova in this case when I say we're taking like a champ. Obviously, this is a year tier 15 Doc Ock. He should take it like a champ. Uh, but they're gear tier 13, they're only level 70, and they're taking these hits really, really well. So you can see that, like, as far as the damage, incoming damage goes, it's not that bad. All right, we got to save all of our Nova abilities. We got just one more hit on her, and there she goes. And so, like, as soon as you beat this node, you're pretty much guaranteed to get the unlock. As long as your Morgan Le Fay is built up, you're going to be fine. There's lots of Brawler characters to lean into at that point as well. Uh, we're going to show those nodes, especially node 8, but it's not very difficult on node 5, or difficulty 5. All right, so yeah, that's it for node 2. Again, once you got this node done, like, you are sitting pretty. So make sure you have those cooldowns available if you can help it. All right, so here we are at the Mystic Villain section, and just to keep it uh, as, like, minimalistic as possible, let's take Doom and Dorm straight off. We'll throw in Heartless, we'll throw in Agatha. I'm assuming you guys are working on those characters. And we'll throw in Sylvie. So we have the Darkhold team, which is needed for Apocalypse. We have some Bifrost members, which are needed for the raids. So if you haven't already built these characters, then these are characters that you should be okay to invest in. Um, but they're not gonna really do much. It's gonna be the Morgan Le Fay show for sure. Her damage is just stupid. All right, so the first thing you'll notice is like you take no damage. We'll use the ultimate here and people just die. So let's look at the size of this Morgan Le Fay. This is not like a maxed out Morgan Le Fay. It's not like a gear tier 18 Morgan Le Fay or something silly like that. Uh, this is a smaller account. All right, how big is she? She's coming up here in a second. So this is a level 85 gear tier 14 Sylvie. So this is not a small Sylvie. This is a level 75 gear tier 14 Heartless. And this is a level 85 gear tier 16 Morgan. So that's quite big. And that's why when I say like she's gonna solo four out of the 10 nodes, I mean she's gonna solo four out of the 10 nodes. That Loki is smacking too. Difficulty five, they're very, very weak, which is good. All right, so there we go. That's gonna be node three. Now let's get to node four. It's gonna be much of the same. It's the Morgan Le Fay show, 100%. All right, so here we are in Global Controllers and let's do the exact same thing we just did. Let's take Doom off. Let's put Dark Beast in because he's part of a raid team. Uh, do we have any other raid characters here? Let's put Emma in because she's just a standing stat stick that everybody is building because she's just a phenomenal character. Uh, man, there's lots of good characters I'd like to bring. I'd love to bring in Black Widow, but people will bite my head off for some reason for doing that. So let's bring in... She's not a raid character anymore. They're not raid characters anymore. I guess we'll bring in US Agent just because Rebirth. I guess. So, like, yeah, I don't even know. Uh, these sections, these nodes are just too easy when you have a somewhat developed Morgan Le Fay. So that's, that's it. Build Morgan Le Fay, prosper. And that's the end of the story. Actually, I don't even know if I have enough vulnerables to hit into at this point. Let's start by using the special. This is going to give me speed up. It's also going to apparently annihilate everybody. There we go. Uh, let's just do an ability block here, I suppose. We'll do the basic. This is a level 85 gear tier 16 uh, Dark Beast. So there's that to keep in mind, I suppose. Let's take out the Thor. Uh, we'll use the basic from Magneto, so it's available on the next global controller node. And you see, we're just taking absolutely no damage, which is good. It's what you want, obviously. Um, these are all raid characters. I just, I just don't know what to do for this section, if I'm being completely honest, because it's too easy with a Morgan the Fay. If it was Morgan the Fay versus this entire node, 
I have no doubt that Morgan Le Fay, who's taking literally negative damage, would not simply just keep getting turn meter till she takes her turn, use her basic, and be back at full life. There's no doubt in my mind that that's exactly how this would play out. All right, looks like her abilities are ready, and there we go. So now we're going to move on to the Brawler node, and that's going to be the uh, the Val show for sure. All right, and here we go with the Brawler node. Now we do have Gamora here, Shang-Chi, Lady Deathstrike. They're all good Brawlers. Um, I don't know if you'd... Uh, I tell you what, let's go ahead and bring in Deathpool. You need to have her for Apocalypse. You need... You don't need either of those for Apocalypse. It's going to be the Val and the Red Hulk show for sure. This is a very small starred Red Hulk, but I believe he's also geared tier 16. And what's going to be important about this node is we want to uh, kill everything very quickly, which Val is very good at doing. Just like Morgan the Fae, if you have a big enough Val, everything Val does is AoE. She just clobbers the enemy team. So I use this special over here. That Red Hulk, he's going to kill basically everything. Next is Val's turn. Oh, looks like it's actually Gamora first. That's fine. Takes that out. Val can do her basic here. And you see, like, it, it's hard for me to, to know what to show on these nodes, guys. The only team that's, like, of the appropriate small size is the Nowhere team, I guess. Let's try and get the kill on her. Didn't take. But the damage from the enemy Morgan is so nominal that it just doesn't matter. Val comes in. I guess we can basic the Gambit out. You just do so much AoE damage with these Brawlers, in particular the trifecta of Val, Deathpool, and Red Hulk, that it just seems very easy. The Brawler knows. I know people are going to hang onto that word like crazy, but I think a Val, 85 gear tier 16, or even gear tier 14, I think is going to demolish that node. May take a little bit more time than that, but we'll demolish it in the end. All right, so here we are at node six now. We're back to using nowhere characters. We cannot use Infinity War Thor. We cannot use Starlight Annihilation. That's fine. We threw in Swarm and Mysterio. You could have thrown in anybody. They're just warm bodies at this point, right? You know what I guess we should do is we should separate our good characters of Mysterio in and then put Swarm in and then we'll throw in our nowhere characters so that adjacent attacks won't end up hitting all three people once our two like sacrificial lambs go down. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and use the special from Nova turn one, not the ultimate. We don't need that um, battlefield effect up immediately. It's just, it's not super helpful. Uh, instead, what we want to do is we want to get rid of those pesky ghost riders that are going to appear on the left side here. Let's go ahead and do that. I meant to target strange, but I just didn't. That's kind of funny. Doesn't matter too much as long as we kill the uh, the Ghost Riders before we eat too much um, retaliation damage. Like my Nova, he's geared to her se uh, geared to her thirteen, level seventy, so he still takes quite a bit of damage. All right, so we killed one Strange. This is probably going to get our Cosmo dip to fifty percent, so he's going to get a bunch of life back or ability energy back for that. Rather, we'll throw the ult. I have no idea if this will do anything. Yeah, they killed somebody. Swarm took a bullet, a bullet for us there. Very nice of him. We could use the ultimate here. Let's go for the special instead. We'll save the ultimate for the next wave if we need to. We'll alt now for the battlefield effect, because why not? And then let's take out this Ghost Rider. Could have done the special for the offense up, which doesn't seem very necessary. Let's get the... Uh, the Ghost Riders out as long as we can. This will get an assist from a Doc Ock member. This is kind of helpful. There you go. And then Cosmo will heal himself. Remember, Cosmo Ultimate doesn't actually do any damage. But it does do a nice heal. There goes the Ghost Rider. And there goes the Mordo too. Again, guys, this is a gear tier 13, level 70 Nova. I can't stress that enough. You don't need a super giant Nova to make this work. It certainly doesn't hurt, though. We use the buff flip there. I don't know why I did that, but I did do it. Mysterio is trying to get some damage in. That's kind of fun. Uh, let's not hit those Mr. Negative minion people because they are very annoying. Taskmaster got yeeted by Doc Ock. 
Let's cleanse the Nova before his turn. Uh, who do we want to go to slow on? Captain Marvel, sure. Slow or death, whichever you prefer, I suppose. Do you have choice? And it's all coming together now. So as you see, not terribly difficult. Not even with what I consider a very, very underdeveloped nowhere team. I guess this Doc Ock is doing quite a bit just for the unlock. So that's good because he's like an older character. Maybe built him up for Dark Dimension 4, I believe, is when we started to need legendary characters. He was cheap for Dark Dimension 4. He was very expensive for Dark Dimension 5 and 6. Or he was he was still kind of cheap for, for 5. All right, so now we're back to our Mystic Villain section. We're going to go in with the exact same team, so we're not trying to uh, suggest anybody build up teams any more than they already have or build up any more characters than we're already kind of suggesting people use here. This is also loose suggestions, by the way. It's like the MVP4. That's what the suggestion is. So let's see who's going first here. Let's go ahead and use the ultimate because the special would not rewind the Quicksilver anyway. I did use the Morgan the Fay ultimate on the Qu on the Surfer because I knew that would give him disrupt. I didn't want him to have offense up. This is very nice. So I have Heartless ultimate up. Might as well throw it. I did very little damage to the... Uh, Oh, never mind. The damage was just staggered. Okay, well, we took him out in the end. Go for the Archangel next. He's very annoying. Cool, cool. Get stun here. It's just the Morgan the Fay show. Morgan the Fay set it up, and now the rest of the characters are kind of just knocking it down. Let's make sure we kill the Nemesis here. Yep, 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 yep. The only bad part about that is now uh, Morgan has no abilities heading into the next wave, or next node. All right, so we're going in with the same global controller team again. We got our Emma, our Dark Beast, Magneto, US Agent, with, of course, the MVP Morgan. All right, so let's go right away and just steal the offense up from Kate because she's super annoying. And then let's pull them together and blind them with Magneto. So I guess we did hold our Magneto ultimate for that entire uh, node on the first global controller. That helps, that's helpful here. Uh, when there's four enemies remaining, that's when the red health drops in, so we need to be ready for that. So maybe we don't want to pop off just, just yet. We'll just basic here. Oh, looks like it happened. Let's use the ultimate here. And this, this is what I mean, guys. If you have Morgan built up, even this red Hulk, even coming in with war buffs, he just, he melts, and we can flip his buffs, or at least give him ability block here. Uh, or I guess we can't. Let's just do that. Now he'll bleed out. The Morgan the Fey is such a, just a dominant character. It's not particularly close. And because these enemies, they, they're, they're lacking a lot of key T4s, which is good, so we can just rip through them. Uh, we don't have to deal with a lot of the super annoying stuff that you might see other people dealing with in certain videos like mine when I'm pushing higher difficulties and this node is, is took me three hours to get through. Like you don't have to deal with that, which is good. You just need to try and get your nowhere team able to take out nodes two and six. Uh, so now the last node is the brother node and this will be the last node. Notice we are already at 400,000. We're only going to 450,000, so one more node and we're done. All right, so we're going in with the exact same Brawler team again. We got Gamora, Lady Deathstrike, Red Hulk, Val, and Deathpool. You can put Nebula in for Lady Deathstrike if you want to get some assists going there, maybe get some synergy out of the uh, invisible, invisible Infinity Watch tag, but I don't think it's super duper necessary. So the first thing we're gonna do is go right for Peggy Carter. Once we take her out, it's pretty much over. Gamora got a reset, that's kind of cool. Uh, she's out of recess now though. We'll go for Winter Soldier. That takes him out. Uh, we'll ult with Lady Deathstrike here. If you had Shang-Chi instead of Lady Deathstrike, that's probably gonna do just a way more damage, which would be fun. Uh, we still have not had to use any abilities on Val yet. 
Uh, let's go ahead and use the basic right here. So we get a reset off of killing the Bucky. All right, then we'll do this one over here. Okay. Like I said, guys, it's it's all about the nowhere. As long as you can get through the nowhere, everything else is just cake. And that's that's it. This is everything you need to do to unlock Black Cat. We now have 450,000 points. Uh, we don't need to do anything else. We just need to wait for seven days to time out. And we will have our three-star Black Cat. I hope this video helped you. Once again, let's quickly go over the... The, the packs that we use, the difficulty, so we're at difficulty five, we have 450,000 points that got us our 70 black cat shards that we have, as well as getting us on the ranked awards for an additional 30. That's gonna get us the unlock. Um, yeah, and here's, here's my main account, uh, sitting at rank two still. We'll see how long that lasts for. Um, as far as packs go, we had everything but the health ones on. We didn't have the symbiote one on. We didn't have the... Uh, the Nowhere went on again. That was at the beginning of the video, so you should definitely go check that out. We only had these guys on. Hired Help, Snake Eyes, Ballroom Blast, Second Wind, World at War. And we were 4,000 points off from the 450,000. This was the only way I think I can show how to unlock Black Cat with minimum investment with the tools that I have at my disposal. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. If you like me doing this kind of much smaller account content, let me know and we can work on that in the future. Um, and have a wonderful day. Bye for now. That's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Stay happy, healthy, have fun, and I'll see you in the next one.